I love Halloween, which is why I'm wearing my it shirt, even though it's so kind of cute. Kind of cute though. Like it's he's not that scary. I am not the biggest fan of clowns. I am that girl who does not love clowns. But you know, I've seen scarier. <laughs> he's like a baby. He's like a baby. You can't uh -huh. be mad at him. <laughs>Hi everyone, welcome to Holly Scoop's Moments of the Week. I'm Gabrielle Valenson. And I'm Monty Bellano. So I'm so excited that we get to talk about this on Halloween, girl. So everyone, you gotta sit back, relax. We're gonna count down the top five Holly Scoop videos of the week. Yes, we are. And we're reading some of your comments. These are the stories that had all of you guys talking this week. So Monty, let's get started with the video. Coming in at number five, we got Justin's Journey. His new documentary reveals some spiritual details. So last week, Justin shared the trailer for his upcoming documentary, uh, Justin Bieber Next Chapter, which gives us a peek into Justin's life and his spiritual journey, as well as how the pandemic has changed him. Um, so this is the second project Justin has released on YouTube Originals. Um, he did Justin Bieber Seasons back in March, and he also brought cameras into his home uh, for his Facebook watch series, The Beavers, which also aired in the spring. Um, so Justin's been very open, you know, with sharing behind the scenes moments of his life. But Monsi, this trailer in particular, like it just made me feel like I did when I saw Never Say Never almost a decade ago in theaters, which is like so crazy. I don't know. There was just, it was very nostalgic to me. Yeah. Holy was playing in the background. Like it just was so, I'm just, I don't know, I'm proud of him. He talked about how he's changed, how he's become more spiritual. And at the end of the trailer, he says, you are good enough. You don't have to put on a front. Who you are is enough. <laughs> so I'm actually really excited for this. Like I said, proud of his journey, but let's see what the tea tribe has to say. Maria Oliveira commented this, I'm change man narrative is so tiring. And then oh. Vanessa commented, JB talked through most of Lonely and howled like a dog through the rest. Listen, what <laughs> Maria Oliveria said, I think that's unfair. I feel like people, as people, we're constantly changing. And I think it's unfair that okay. they're annoyed with him constantly saying that he's changing. And it's not constantly, at least I don't think so. I, I hear people say that, and I just think it's a little unfair. As humans, we literally change and evolve every single okay. day. And I believe that he gets these revelations. I mean, he's in a spotlight. He's been in a spotlight since he was so young. His life is something that you and I will never understand. In fact, majority of the people will never understand. So I kind of think that's unfair, that comment. Now the other comment <laughs> about him I howling. I love that. I'm, I guess it's kind of true, but I also wasn't bothered by it. Uh, no, I, his voice yeah, is amazing. I, it is amazing. I preferred Holy for sure versus Lonely. Me too. For sure. Me too. But <laughs> I didn't think like, oh, Justin is howling like a dog. I didn't think that, <laughs> but that comment is funny. There you go. We'll give that one to you, Vanessa. So we'll we'll talk about it after after we see it, and we'll let you guys know how we feel about it. But Monty, yeah. what do we have for the number four video? Ooh, all right, everybody, coming in at number four, Kylie. Girl, Kylie reveals that she has baby fever. She has said it, you know, we've talked about it. We've assumed that she wants more kids. Now we know for sure because Kylie Jenner returned to James Charles' channel for another Halloween makeup video, just like they did two years ago, if you remember, except this time it was like a flash on her face. I think it was like a cheetah, you know, to go with her makeup line. So like a cheetah slashed her face. Uh, they spilled a ton of tea and Kylie revealed that she wants more kids. In fact, this is the quote. She said, I want more so 
bad. I actually think about it every day. I just still like don't know when. I'm not planning. I don't have a time for that to happen. Oh, I can't believe it. It was just so honest. You know, we're yeah. seeing a lot of true personality come out right now, even though she said that she actually was holding back for many years on showing her true personality because she was getting a lot of backlash. So I'm glad that she's getting more comfortable. And, you know, we see a great side of Kylie every time she posts, she posts with Stormy. But let me tell you what the Tea Tribe had to say. Josephine Extra. I hope I'm not butchering your name too much. But they said during the live, I love seeing her personality. We are the same age and I'd love her as a friend. She seems so silly and fun. Right? Yeah, Isn't that the definitely. You get from Kylie, right? Definitely. And we're yeah. seeing it more. We really are yeah. seeing it more. For sure. And I'm all I'm all about it. Like seriously, I really did not think like if you would have asked me five years ago, who is your favorite Kardashian or Kar Jenner? Like who do you want to sit down and have a cocktail with? Never in my life would I've thought that it would have been Kylie. Never. And it's right? Kylie. Oh yeah. Show. Yeah, and actually Brittany Harrington during the live asked me, because I was so into it, she asked me, wasn't she a little drunk with James? Oh, totally. She was a little drunk with James. Just a little yeah. bit. They had a little bit of wine. That's it. That's fine. Little wine, little makeup, little fun tutorial. I love it. Right? <laughs> like you and I should do that, girl. You, you and I should have a glass of wine and attempt to do a makeup tutorial. Yes. Love it. A glass or two yeah. or three. Um, okay. Speaking of three, speaking of three, tell me what oh. comes in at number three. Oh, Monsi, that was good. That was good. We have the video coming in at number three. Miss Selena Gomez, everyone's favorite, of course, as I always say when we talk about her, because it is true. Um, she was spotted out at Nobu. Earlier this week, you know, she was leaving the restaurant. She was wearing a mask. But fans noticed that she was also, you know, covering her face much more than usual. Some fans were worried since she recently revealed how her mental health was so affected, you know, at the beginning of quarantine. Um, that on top of her physical health is already a lot to deal with, uh, you know, plus the added pressures of being in the spotlight. So yes, fans were worried once these photos came out. Um, but let's see what the Tea Tribe had to say. I personally think people were just like reading a little too much into her just leaving Nobu with a mask on and not wanting to you know, get pictures. Angelica Vargas wrote, I just love how raw she is. Love you, queen. Crying, you're doing good. And then Carolina Garcia wrote, I love Selena. She's an amazing person. She's a role model by taking action on important issues. I will always stand and support. And Monsi, all of the comments were so positive because it's because it's our girl, Sel. Carolina, she really does make an excellent point that she, you know, is a role model that's taking action. Like she's not just this celebrity who's like saying things, she really puts effort and emotion and time into these things that matter to her. And that's why she gets so she much does. love. You know, like she, she, she puts her money where her mouth is. And I love that about her. She does. She's raw. She's real. She's, she's genuine for, you know, her crazy life. You got number two for us. The number two uh, video. What is that? Uh, I do have number two for us, girl. Coming in at number two, we have more Max Eric, y'all. I can't, but we gotta talk about it. I get it, I get it. <sighs> so Eric, I know, man, he creeps into Selena's live with Timothy Chalamet. What are you doing? So Selena Gomez, as we just talked about, putting her money where her mouth is. She's being a big advocate for this election. She had Timothy Chalamet on her Instagram Live last weekend while he was waiting in line to vote in New York. They spoke about voting, the importance of getting out there to vote. And Timothy even showed the long line that was at Madison Square Garden and said that he had already been waiting for over an hour. But that's all right. It's all good. We got to wait. And yeah. then people noticed that Max Eric decided to comment. And he commented, bless up. What? You didn't even comment like, oh, good job, guys. Ugh, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, let's see what the Tea Tribe and everybody had to say about this. Brisa Higgins, she said during the live, he'll do anything for attention. I see no lies there. No lies. No lies. <laughs> Wendy Garcia also said during the live, he's such a leech. Yeah. 
Girl, that is a good word. I don't know what he's doing, but I'm seriously gonna steal that word because I kept calling him a cuckoo bird. Now I'm just gonna call him a leech. leech. Thank you. Yeah, that is perfect. Lastly, Amanda LaVenture said, negative attention <laughs> is better than no attention. I can't. Now I know really? we're almost there. You're gonna kick us off to the number one video, but you guys gotta make sure that you watch the morning tea every weekday at 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We have everything on that show from You Missed It to new music updates to Car Jenner Tea Time and an OMT, the hottest entertainment news of the day. Be sure to like, share this video, and subscribe to the Holly Scoop channel. Right, girl? Oh, yes. Do everything that Monsi just said, and we got the number one video for you guys. Ari's album, leaked. Fans are outraged. Obviously, Ariana Grande's album Positions came out yesterday, so let us know what you guys think about it. If you've heard it, if you love it, please let us know. Um, but it was leaked on Monday and fans were not happy. Uh, it was trending all over Twitter and, you know, fans were discussing if this could actually be a good thing because, you know, it's starting conversations about the songs on the album. You know, it creates a buzz around the album, but then other fans were saying how, you know, this leak has ruined the album release for Ariana and fans alike. You really don't want your album to be leaked. You want to release it when it is time. Um, but let's see what, you know, the T-Tribe had to say about these leaks. Crystal A said during the live, the people who leaked it are awful. Like who does that? That's not a real fan. True. Nope. Um, Karina Lee, our good friend Karina Lee, also wrote during the live, Dua and Ariana both got their albums leaked. Dua was devastated and someone did this to Ariana. It's messed up. So yeah, a lot of album leaks have been happening this year. If I got my hands, like let's just, you know, internet is funky and you happen to get your hands on an album, I would just be like, oh my gosh. I have the album, I'm gonna listen to it. But to expose it, I don't know. Yeah, no, it's wrong. I, I mean, I think it's wrong. But um, Sandy Mosher also said, no, now all her fans will go out of their way to listen to the real album and she gets the sympathy of others. Definitely a scooter move. <laughs> That's what Sandy oh. thought, which true. It's like a lot of people were like, I'm not listening to this. I'm, I'm waiting until, like, I'm waiting. I feel terrible, I'm waiting. So. Interesting. She does get the sympathy there. It, yeah, and I, I've heard that rumor of other people thinking like Scooter was behind it. I really like, that seems crazy. That is an attempt that can fail miserably at getting more people yeah. to listen to the album. I feel like there's no way he would have done that because I get it, high risk, high reward, but I don't think it was worth the risk. What if it backfired, right. you know? So that's why I don't think it. We will never know, you guys. So you let us know what you think about this and keep these reactions coming to these moments of the week. You know, do you agree with the viewers? Do you agree with us? Give us a thumbs up if you did and keep your opinions coming. Watch and comment on the Morning Tea and Celeb News Bites and who knows your comments may be featured in next week's show. And share this video with your friends. You guys subscribe to the Holly Scoop channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. We will see you all later and happy Halloween. Monsi, yes, have the best Happy weekend. Halloween. Go watch it, girl, go watch it. No, thank you. <laughs>